that's easy F tier. Little uh, computer science majors out there, what is up, my dudes and dudettes? I saw this one video on YouTube where this guy was making a tier list of different college majors, so I got a little bit inspired to do that, but with computer science majors specifically, or majors that code. Again, my name is Michael. I make college advice videos and tech videos. Consider hitting that like button and that subscribe button down below. All right. Now, to just jump into it, the first major that we have here, this little one with the brain, that is cognitive science. So I know at, uh, at UCSD, the school I go to, they do a little bit of coding depending on what you specialize in. So if you specialize in like neural computation or human computer interaction, I know you can do some like user experience research. Some things like that. This major seems really, really cool. Seems really interesting. Seems like you can go a lot of different aspects for jobs. And they have a class called Cyborgs in the Future. So that, you know, I'm going to give that a solid B tier. Because again, it's not specifically computer science. You don't do a ton of coding, but I think you do enough to where you can get some cool jobs. This is electrical engineering. So this is super hard. And since it's engineering, it requires more classes but you sort of have that like instant clout and respect when you hear someone say they're electrical engineering. And I feel like you learn enough coding and electrical engineering is such an impressive name anyway. You know, you won't have trouble finding a job and you can go in a different field. So that's gonna be solid A tier. And again, all of these majors, since they're all coding based, they're already like really, really good majors, but these are just in my opinion, these how I would rank them amongst each other in terms of like coding or computer science. Computer science and engineering. So some schools just have computer science. My school has computer science and engineering. That's what the major is called. So this is the OG major. It's an engineering major at my school. So you're gonna need more classes. And I know this is gonna hurt some people, but the only reason it isn't S tier is because I feel like it doesn't let you take broader classes that could be beneficial. So whether you wanna like specialize or like go into data science or finance or something like that. I feel like it doesn't let you take broader classes because you have such a restrict requirement of like the certain engineering classes and computer science classes you have to take. If you wanna go into different fields, it might be a little bit challenging in my opinion, in my opinion. So that's gonna be another solid A tier alongside electrical engineering. Now information technology, my school doesn't have this major, but uh, it's IT. And I feel like IT gets a bad rap. In theory, IT sounds really great because it's like the mix between computer science and like communications and how they support businesses and research and stuff like that. But I feel like in the modern day, IT sort of just becomes tech support. Granted, I don't know a ton about it, but you know, with that being said, I'm probably going to go solid S tier with IT. Okay. Now bioinformatics, you do like coding with bio. Uh, you know, since this is my list and bio's pretty whack, uh, that's easy F tier. Now, next, math and computer science. Now, this is my major, hence big S tier. Big S tier. Now, I'm just going to explain briefly why that is. So, you get the math side, so you get all that, like, really abstract, deep math stuff. So, if you really want to go into, like, finance writing algorithms for trading, or you want to do math research, you got that, you can do that, or data analytics. But if you want to do like computer science and more traditional software engineering stuff, you can still do that. The math portion is so applicable to so many things, and so is the computer science thing, that the combination of both of those, that you can kind of touch everything. And there's also a lot of freedom on electives you can take and things you can petition for. So that's why it's S tier, it's also my major, so. S tier, easy. Okay, software engineering. My school doesn't have this as a discrete major, but I know some schools do. So. I feel like this is a lot like computer science and engineering, except you do less theory and more application. So that could be beneficial depending on what you want to do. So I'm going to put that easy A tier. Data science is a relatively new major. As we all know, if you watch The Great Hack on Netflix, <coughs> highly recommend that data surpassed oil as the most valuable resource in the world. So therefore, you know, data science is growing. 
big ground field. I think it's a good investment if you go for that major. I know not all schools have that major, but I think you learn math. I know you do a lot of Python and R, which are really emerging languages. Really good, really useful. A lot of companies have growing data science teams, which could be, uh, you know, pretty good, pretty good stuff. You might miss out on some traditional computer science stuff. You may not learn C or Java depending on the program in your school. So, you know, I'm gonna put that solid A tier also. And lastly, we're gonna go with computer engineering here. Now, computer engineering seems hard, it's an engineering degree, but it also seems like it has sort of less clout than electrical engineering. When someone says they're electrical engineering, at least for me, I'm like, God damn. But then, computer engineering, I feel like it's like less, I don't know, it just feels like it has less clout. Now. Everyone who's a computer engineer is going to be mad here in that. But honestly, I just feel like it's less clout. So, you know, I mean, it's engineering degree, so you get that. But again, I feel like it's got that less clout comparatively. So I'm going to put that solid B tier. So if we're just going over them again, we have the obvious, my dude, math, computer science, S tier, easy. Then in A tier, we got software engineering, electrical engineering, computer science and engineering and data science. I think that's a fair A tier, to be honest. I think that's a pretty good A tier. Then in B tier, we got cognitive science and a computer engineering. I think that's solid, solid. C tier, we got IT, information technology. And then D tier, we got, we got nada. And then F tier, obviously bioinformatics. Obviously. That's it guys, I thought it'd be a fun video. <coughs> if you guys like the video, consider hitting that like button, that subscribe button down below. Again, my name is Michael, giving you bad British accents when you need it, and some college advice now and again. Instead of tuning into a future video of mine in the future, because I just said future, if you agree with my tier list, comment down below if you agree. If you don't agree, comment down below how you would rank these majors in terms of what you perceive them as. If you want to make a tier list, I use tierlist.com. Easy peasy, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Bye-bye.